Hi guys and welcome to yet another video setting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we will be making this cool shape of strips which looks something like this and the one that you saw in the thumbnail so let's get started okay I'm gonna go to file new and make a new document file 1280 and 720 I'm gonna choose but of course it does not matter the size you can choose anything it's not about the file size okay so now let's come down here to rectangular and make a little strip like this of course you do not have to have make a perfect strip the one that I'm making just make anything it's not too you know uh, big in on the width but it's a little bit uh, longer you know and remove the stroke and give the fill the black color of course you can give it another color but uh, the black color uh, I experimented with it and it looks a little bit greater than others then hold on the alt key and drag one strip just to the side a little bit wider from the one you just created like this once you have dragged one of it to the side like this while holding the alt key then hold the control button and then keep it in the D key on the keyboard and then a line of strips like this side up here and duplicate copies will be made okay once you have done that select all of the strips like this with the marquee selection then go to the symbol panel if the symbol panel is not in the workspace or you are not working in the essential workspace like i'm working then go to windows and then come down here and here would be a symbol panel click on it and it will open up and then click on your strips that you created drag them and put them in here leave the setting as default and just click ok like so and then now we are going to remove these strips from our artboard or the work area and we are going to make a ellipse in here okay holding the shift key so the uh, proportions are restrained drag and make a ellipse okay you can make it a small one big one it's up to you then select the selection tool go to effects come down to 3d effects and then click on revolve effect you click it a windows like this will pop up then you can click on the preview and it's gonna make something like this okay before that let me cancel this and let me give this uh, uh, spear a color that is a little bit easy easily visible okay like a green color okay same process again go to effect 3d come down to revolve and click on the preview so we can see what we are creating something like this okay now revolve it and bring it into a position whatever you like and you're gonna put it like this on its size of course you do not need to follow me of course i'm gonna remove the donut looks too bulky i'm gonna increase the middle area also like so a little bit maybe that is too big okay this size is okay once you are happy with the position and the size and the you know width of the your donut and the bulkiness then click on this option which says map art and then once you are in here go to symbols drop down menu and select the strips that you just created once they are here click on this option which says scale to fit and once they are scaled to fit then click on this option or check mark it which says invisible geometry then it's going to remove the donut inside we just need the strip structure to be like this and click ok and ok again and now we have this cool strips but it does not look anything like you saw in the beginning of the video so to do that we are going to select it then go to object and then we're going to click on expand appearance and then right click on your structure while selected it click on ungroup once and right click again click on ungroup again and right click once more and then click on this option which says release clipping mask and everything will be released then now you have to delete we do not need so many structures in here 
we need to delete the bottom ones okay select them and click delete on the keyboard and they would be deleted of course it's a little bit trickier to see which one to delete which one not once you started deleting few of them then you would have the feed which one to leave and which one to delete okay right so I hope you can follow along okay now we have this beautiful cool structure of course you can leave it like this if you just want it a black and white structure like so and it also looks good but if you want to apply colors to it then there is a little bit of problem because if now we try to apply the color to it like though for example red it does not apply to it because it is still these strips attached to each other so i'm going to control the that or to do to make it individual and only the color to be applied to these you know strips we have to delete these parts you know these ones that are holding it together to find them and delete them you have to drag your mouse over the structure once you selected one of them you click delete key and then it will be deleted like so if you cannot see it select the whole structure and then drag your mouse cursor over it and once the path is highlighted and then delete it so i'm going to delete all of them so and i know it's a little bit tedious this work but it's worth it okay once all of the strips are deleted then you can select it or select the entire structure like this and then give it individual colors like we discussed even if i want to give it something like cool blue color like this now we can give it and it would appear like this and of course we are not just limited to giving it color now we can also give it gradient and it would okay i have to select the object and now click on the gradient and something a beautiful gradient like this would appear but we can give it even better color okay and many other things are still possible in here but i think i'm just happy with the way the colors have turned out and how our structure is looking i'm just gonna give it a red color of course there are so many things and modifications that you guys can apply to it and it really depends on your taste what you are going for and if you are going for is uh, a unique style or the, you want to place it in a logo then you can of course do that and keep on working on it this whole structure is very flexible and of course you if you ungroup it too many times you can individual select individual strips like this and then you can change their color also we give this uh, greenish type of color and then you can make different sort of paints out of it like so so with that said i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i take my leave from you guys and hope to see you in the next one